Let's talk about the Now Web because you've got a new release of Dropio that really embraces this whole notion of um, communicating real time. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, you know, human beings communicate in real time. And so the more you can model that kind of relationship across the internet, uh, the better you are off. At Dropio, we use the Now Web. We use our own application, um, which embraces this real time concept on a day to day basis. We all sit on a drop, um, are sharing rich media, are sharing uh, chat messages back and forth instantaneously as part of our workflow. But that's extensible in a whole bunch of different directions, whether you know, you're a PR company and you're trying to coordinate with a bunch of contacts, um, whether you're on a team internally, whether you're in a classroom. Um, the reality is that there's no reason that the web should be asynchronous um, because human beings aren't asynchronous. How are you making money? It's all premium services. Our model and what we're going after fundamentally relies on the fact that one, private communications or targeting specific information to specific people is valuable and moving it in a fat pipe sense. Um, and two, that it's valuable enough that people are willing to pay for it. Um, and so we give away a very basic level of service which millions of people use on a free basis to move small files, um, to move you know on the fly just a little bit of media that they need to get around. But for all the companies that are using us, for all the professional users, you know, if you're using it in a, in a heavy way, um, that costs us money and we charge margin on top of it. You raised venture capital funding last year, about a year ago, from right. RRE Ventures and DFJ Gotham. Right. Are you going to be raising money this year? And uh, if so, what's the climate like? If we see an opportunity to go after a bigger piece of the pie or a new development project or a new segment of the market, and you know, see an opportunity where it makes sense to fundraise in order to support those activities. We're always, you know, in the market, so to speak. I think every startup really is ultimately. There's no such thing as not being in the market. There's no question that the climate is interesting right now, especially startups that are trying to raise their A rounds. Um, very hard to do with no traction these days. Um, and I think that's actually potentially a big misstep in the overall economy because there's a lot of great technology being built right now, and especially with how revolutionary a lot of this real-time movement really is. In some ways, you know, it's almost good for us um, that it's a little bit harder to raise money right now because it means that we have more, more of a runway to kind of go off and build what we need to build without worrying about other people deciding it's also a good idea.